Do you see them behind me? Do you see my mother, my father, my grandmother, my great aunts, good friends? They're all here with me. I know that they are. I know that my ancestors and those that I love are invisibly with me all the time. Sometimes I know it in really specific ways. A voice comes to me, I see something in the world. Other times I just know it because I love them, because they live in my heart and my memory. I know that they're with me. And not only my own ancestors, all of the ancestors that I claim, who I'm not related to by blood, who I'm related to by care, are also with me. That gives me a lot of assurance. I know that they're with me. And at the same time, I think of something that Gia, my kid, said when Gia was three and I was going on yet another business trip and Gia didn't want me to go and Gia was upset and saying, don't go. And I said, sweetie, I'll be here in your heart even while I fly away. And Gia looked at me and said, but my heart can't smell you or hold your hand. And that is mourning. My ancestors are with me, but I can't tell them what happened today. I can't tell them the amazing things that I learned or read or that somebody did. It's not just ancestors whose hands we can't hold, whose smells we can't enjoy. Most tragically, it can be our children, our spouses, people who shouldn't be gone as soon as they are from this planet, people whose departure just feels absolutely wrong and premature. In all cases of loss, memory can be our place of deepest pain and memory can be our place of deepest longing and healing. For me, allowing the positive memories to arise even when I am solidly sinking in the memories of somebody who died in a way that I wish had not happened, still honoring the life is where I come back to center. I know that some of you this year have lost people tragically soon through accidents, through illness, even sometimes at their own hand. I know that in each of these cases, memory acts differently as a medicine, and as a poison in our systems. And so may all of it alchemically become love. May you love yourself no matter how much you wish something had unfolded differently, no matter how much grief you feel. May the depth of your grieving, may the pain of your loss remind you always over and over that this is a reflection of love, that this is love and longing that you're feeling. And may you know that you are not alone, that all of us have lost people that we love, that that's what we do. That's what those of us who are living, in part, are always doing, is remembering those who are invisibly with us, even when we can't smell them or hold their hand.